It's Fairy Bad Dream Nightmare here. I realize I have my hair parted differently because I am working on a Juzel Juzel Social Juzel Juzel costume. I don't know how to say the last part. And since the new one is black, which is pretty close to my hair, I pinned it to the side. And I'm actually gonna have my hair probably be cut. Or we're actually gonna do something called an illusion pin where you actually pin your hair up to make it look shorter and stuff. So yeah. Working on that. Also, I tried uploading a video yesterday. And I'm so sorry for those of you who saw that because my volume had actually cut out and I didn't realize. My bad. But I was talking about how over here in this corner, which I have moved everything, I was having my cell block tangle, cell block tango thing being set up. So if you know Chicago, you're gonna know the song Cell Block Tangle. And if you don't, what are you doing with your life? It's a really, really cool thing. So I'm having my toys do that. What's left of my toys, anyways? I have nothing to live for anymore. <laughs> I'm playing. So now I'm gonna do more covers. Um, I don't have my my um, collar on at the moment because I was straightening my hair. And this actually bothers my neck when I straighten my hair. So I'm gonna stick that back on real quick. There we go, that's better. I remember when my hair was a whole lot longer. Like, I had my hair down to here, possibly. I don't know, was it down to here? I don't remember. It was past my chest, that's all I can remember. But I had, was at my friend's house, and she had this wig, and the Connie, Kinky, Connie Key's mask, Kinky Kin's mask, and I have had, a jacket that looks like what he would wear if he were a girl. And I still have that jacket. I actually wear it quite often. You guys have seen it before. It's um, it's the one I used for my Starless costume. You guys remember it. Anyways. So I had stuck on the jacket and I had buttoned it up all the way. And I had a bathing suit top on. And short shorts. Because it was summer. So I had stuck the wig on. And the wig was pure white except for the tips. Which were red. So I put my hair up, put the wig on, and I put the mask on. And, um, I was like, when you hang out with humans, they try to dye your hair. I was literally gonna make, like, a meme type thing out of that because I was holding up my hair, holding up the fake hair, like, really? And the tips were all red, and we, I was thinking of doing a picture with her, but we didn't do the picture. Which would have been so lit if we did. But, um... I don't know, I guess this, this video is just basically update and story time. Because I had recently got back into uh, the Tokyo Ghoul fandom, which I was in for a while. Stopped for about a year and a half, for, um, well, a half a year to get into the FNAF fandom and the Hunter x Hunter fandom. Which didn't really get into the Hunter x Hunter fandom, went too deep into the FNAF fandom, fandom thingy. And also took the time to check out Black Butler. Which, I've only seen a few episodes, because I can never find the actual thing. So, yeah. Sorry, I, um, I want a lollipop. Ah! Suck it too hard on a lollipop. Oh, love's gonna get you down. I know how that feels. <laughs> so, that's what I'm doing. So, block tango. Messing around with my hair. Telling you guys randomness. Um, don't forget, requests are always open. I know I keep saying this, and I mean it this time. I'm bringing it back under the bed series. As soon as I clean under my bed. <laughs> because everything has been so stressful lately, honestly. And we're doing... We just got through what testing, and I'm almost through with school. And it's bugging me. And... I haven't even had time to clean out my closet. I probably have dead bodies in there. Sorry, my mom's screaming about glee. Awkward silence. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got to clean out my closet. Go through all this. Some of this is actually clothes that I wear. At school, and then some of this is actually cosplay. Like, this shirt. 
I swear. Hold on. So, this was my first Bill Seifert shirt. I'm going to explain to you why I chose this as a shirt. And when was I Bill Seifert? It was a school thing. This was also my gym shirt. I used it for gym at the beginning, towards the end of gym, which I'm no longer in gym class because I have math enhanced me. I don't do my math work. Sometimes. So, why I chose this for the Bill Cipher shirt was, first of all, it was yellow and black. Durr. But also, it looked like an eyeball, the Nike thing. So I kind of went with that, and I kind of played with it a little. I gave, I gave the entire shirt its own background. <laughs> like, how Bill got it, when did he get it, who gave it to him, why they gave it to him. I don't know, I had like a whole background and everything for it. <laughs> I was so dumb last year. This was all last year, and I was um pretty stupid. I still am. Trust me. Ask anybody at school. I jump off of crap I'm not supposed to, and I do crap I'm not supposed to. And guys, be nice. Be respectful towards your teachers, except for when they're really buttholes to you. Then who cares? Because I none of my teachers are buttholes to me because they know. Be the butthole to me. There's a consequence. I will rip your reputation down faster than the internet did Justin Bieber's. That's saying something. Or, um, I will rip your self esteem down faster than drugs can. And it can pretty fast. So, bottom line, besides me threatening people, things, I have these pants. I don't know where I got these. I really don't. I don't know where I got... My grandma gave me these ones. I don't know where I got these. Oh, hey, I think... No, these are hand-me-downs for my brother, actually. I get all his old clothes and crap. Either from my brother or my dad. I don't know. I get boys and girls clothes. Have I ever worn these? Legit, have I ever freaking worn these? Hold up. Hold up, we gonna go see if I ever worn these. I don't remember ever wearing these, honestly. Huh, they're pretty nice. It's got a lot of pockets. Got a little pocket here, pocket here. These are like survival jeans. Could fit a whole country with all these pockets. Fit part of Hawaii, the other half of Hawaii. Probably all of America and these couple ones. Japan. I don't know what else. <laughs> How many pockets are in this? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm gonna go put them on. So I got the jeans on. And they're not that bad. They fit me really, really good on the waist. Like, there's a little room for me to move around. And it's like... Low key, all baggy down here. And there are like so many buckets if you.